when I look back at that original video that uh, we did, um, I, I look at it and I, I think of the way I was saying, in 11 months time, I'm going to be running a marathon. And it was, I look at it and think, I'm kind of trying to half convince myself. <laughs> I think back then it was, yeah, it was all still scary and I, I have done so much since then for it to become a reality of course. My advice to myself now, I was very over enthusiastic uh, to begin with and that's just me, I'm an enthusiastic person I suppose when I get excited about something. And right in the beginning in November, before I even met um, Sean and Chris uh, for our first session, I was really excited and you know it was a couple of weeks before I had actually met them in that first uh, video that we had with, together. And um, so of course I was going out running on my own, being over enthusiastic and wanting to show off and <laughs> when I see the guys, you know, what can I show them that I can do. But I ended up causing myself an injury. <laughs> And um, that was the right knee, which is the uh, side of my weakness. Uh, because I was getting to the stage where I was just doing too much too soon. And um, I was walk only walking and running and walking and running. It wasn't like great, but it was, it was big for me because I'd never, I hadn't ran since 1978. Yeah. Um, so the advice to myself now that I would give is yeah, to slow things down. I was going on forever with the guys that were getting sick of me, I'm sure. Going, oh my goodness, 11 months, and then 10 months, and then <laughs> thinking that it was unachievable. But when I did it in steps, like I did the uh, 5.3 kilometre fun run on Australia Day. And that was a big achievement for me, and exciting. And then, the, so we did the next step was, let's train for the 10k run. And the next step after that, let's do the half marathon. And so the next step after that now is the full marathon. But I've had challenges um, with ankle issues, like even with the 10k and the half marathon, that um, was they were hard. They because I had ankle in, in injuries, but you know I taped it up and all that sort of thing. But still, it was it was painful. Um, but you just. You just go ahead and stick with it. So um, I, thank God I'm over that. But then I did uh, have knee injuries that were on and off, and I've just um, become well accustomed to ice. <laughs> ice, ice. And I'm just icing a swollen and sore knee and ankle. But then also, I think my issue with the the um, leg difference affects my hip in the groin area, that's been something that's really been painful as well. And I think it's all to do with the... It's just I'm not excited. <laughs> uh, the leg brace, um, this is my usual one that I had all the time. And um, I went to see Darren, my wonderful orthotic specialist, uh, who makes wonderful things like this. And he said, look, there's a special brace that we can make for running in particular. And I thought, wow, this is great, you know. Because he saw me in my video when I did the 5.3K and he said, it looks like you've got, you're using a lot of effort. And I said, yep. <laughs> and so he said, I think I can get you running better. So we did a cast, uh, he made the leg brace, but it was all happening a bit too close, unfortunately, to the marathon. And as anyone knows that it runs, um, especially marathons or half marathons, you, you just don't change anything too close to the day. Even though I'm not going to give up on the idea because I will be running after this, I'm still going to um, plan to use it and learn how to walk in it slowly um, and then run um, in it. Yeah, that's when we'll, I'll get back to that. But yeah, we sort of put it on hold just because it, it is too close to the... Um, the big day. Yeah, back at, uh, where will I go, February, I actually was um, made redundant in my job. The business is just the way it was going and we all had to pack up and leave. So that really, um, yeah, kind of put me out a little bit, I suppose. And then 
in a way, though, I think it was um, maybe a blessing because my brother had cancer and in March uh, last year is when he did pass away, unfortunately. And I got that opportunity from, you know, having uh, no work at February at that time um, to actually at least go back to um, my hometown in Mildura and spend some time with him. But I do remember uh, a couple of people asking me at the time uh, um, around my brother's funeral or even after was, you know, Donna was still going to run the marathon in October. And I just, I didn't even have to think about it. I just straight away said, yeah. I, I just knew that Brian wouldn't want me to, to stop. And he was so encouraging of me. And he, it's funny, he's been like that throughout my life. But he always was encouraging, I didn't miss that. And um, I just, yeah, miss him, of course. I, I've, I've had the expectation and belief in my mind that I'm going to do this. I haven't stopped believing that. And so when it comes to running, that's not the most unexpected part. It's the journey itself with the people that have supported me. Even just the really kind messages that I've um, received on Facebook and, um, and the beautiful people that have done fundraisers for me. Um, the, the gorgeous women in Rockenbauer, that was just really special. They did a, a garden high tea party and they did a fundraiser. There was a, uh, there's a boy there who is actually related to me, was my cousin's grandchild, um, Ethan. He even, yeah, he's just a boy and he's, he was doing these um, competitions and um, selling sort of um, raffle tickets or something from it by baking cookies and putting them in the jar and it was like a competition where people had to guess the amount of cookies in the jar and whoever did and he raised over $300. I had another person who is a school teacher who had students and teachers support him. He had this huge beard and he shaved that off <laughs> to raise money for the, the Royal Children's Hospital in Randonaran. I had a beautiful boy um, who is going to be running with me, uh, Thomas. He's going to be you know, coming in on the track at some stage at the marathon donate a bicycle that was given to him that he wanted to put it towards the Royal Children's Hospital and we sold that at the auction, the fundraiser dinner. The beautiful people that turned up at the dinner even too and I, I had um, you know, great uh, response from that and you know Pat Farmer who you know it was a great response from him and came to speak at the dinner. Um, I, uh, I don't know what else, like the, and just the wonderful response and comments from people on the Facebook page that has encouraged me, but also people that have responded in a way that um, I have inspired them, which is um, just something that, um, yeah, I, I just couldn't imagine that I would be possible, so. Yeah, it's, it's been a, a great journey and just, yeah, and the people at the Royal Children's Hospital Foundation have been beautiful and just my family and friends as well, I mean, yep. I don't know, I'm just blown away by it all really, it's um, obviously because I'm a, you know, <laughs> a bit of a mess about it, but um, and just the effort that people like yourself, Steph, that have been, you know, come to do things you know, to do find on a run. And Sean um, and Chris in particular, they've, they've been there all the time. And you know, the, the amount of times I've texted or emailed or called uh, Sean in particular is probably going to be happy when this is over. <laughs> um, and his wife. <laughs>
to my friends and family and supporters being there. I'm looking forward to uh, running with, you know, I'm not sure if I'm looking forward to running with Sean and Chris actually. <laughs> yeah, I, I just want to be able to cross the line and go, yes. <laughs> Talk to us, Donna. Yeah, what do you want me to say? What are you thinking? Uh, of the finish line. You're thinking of the finish line? Yeah. What's it going to be like? It's going to be an achievement, a relief, but an achievement. How do you feel? I want to get there. <laughs> it's pretty close now, isn't it? I'm struggling a little bit right now. It's okay. Yeah. Oh. You struggled before. To do that. <laughs> 28 k's, woohoo! Nice. Oh. Yeah, there's only 14 to go. We've done 14. <laughs> yeah, we've done 14 lots of times.